Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be installing a new graphics card um, into my Windows XP machine, the very PC that I use to record games and upload it into YouTube. Um, unfortunately, the previous graphics card that I was using, a GeForce 8800 GT, um, unfortunately died on me. Um, I did take it apart, give it a bit of a clean. Um, unfortunately, worked for a little bit. I put it back together, didn't really do much. I didn't have any thermal paste or anything to give it a clean, so maybe it would last a bit longer. But I essentially got another six days out of it, and then, um, yeah, the, the <laughs> unfortunately bit the dust again. So, because um, I'm currently moving and you know, I'm not working at the moment, I have a very limited budget. Um, so, for just about 51 Australian dollars, um, I was able to get a new one, a new graphics card. I wasn't getting the same one because the uh, 8800 is a little bit too more, a bit too powerful than uh, my CPU, which I can't remember the name top of my head, like the exact model, but I'll have it in the description below. Um, it's one of the E-series dual core, um, so one of the low-end uh, CPUs from 2007, um, and so where the 8800 is, you know, back in the day, it was uh, high-end. So, you know, it caused a bit of bottleneck, um, didn't really cause me any problems personally. Um, I did have a bit of a look, and from what I could find, there was no bottleneck, but other places said there was, so I was just like, ah, yeah, whatever. Um, so today I've decided to go, well not today, but um, you know, I've decided to go with a uh, weaker GPU uh, that will better suit with the CPU and should work you know, a lot more better. Um, and I've recently purchased some more RAM because uh, I want a dual, dual channel uh, memory. And I did have a, a 4 gig kit, which Windows XP could only ran up to about 3 gigs, you know, rough, roughly around that. Um, couldn't find the other sticks, so for $13, Sense or something like that, Australian dollars. Um, I was able to find, you know, one gig sticks for Samsung. It was the last two, so you know, it was meant to be. Um, about the same speed, about 800 megahertz. Um, but at least it'll be dual channel. Should help out some games, uh, you know, such as Fallout 3, which I had just recently been started to play, just before my graphics card um, decided to want to shoot itself. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, I've got the graphics card here. Haven't installed it yet, so. It should work, um, looks really good, um, this is how I've got it, so it looks like the VGA has only been used, got um, DVI, HDMI, um, and then, um, like, oh, another reason why I loved, loved, like, fell in love with it, not fall in love with it, you know, it's just a bit hard there, mate, calm down, but one, one of the reasons that I really like this one is it's got these old school, um, you know, 3D models on there, so yeah, it's a GeForce GT240. Um, and as I said, it's a little bit weaker um, than the 8800. I've had a quick look into it. Essentially, it's an extra 50 megahertz, sort of here and there. Um, I can't remember particularly what the right ones, but um, I might even fiddle around, and see if I can maybe push it a little bit. You know, um, it should be using less power too, because um, the 8800 actually you know, has a connector with this one, just plugs in with uh, the PCI slot. Um, and yeah, so with a bit of luck, um, I might be able to overclock it, maybe get a bit more performance out of it. Otherwise, you know, I might just <laughs> let it be. And um, yeah, but yeah, let's get to it. Okay, don't know how well this is going to record, but mostly it's just, uh, no, it's not about me, it's, a, it's about the uh, switching of the GPU. So essentially I've left like this, um, you know, when I, first, when I first, you know, ordered the thing, because so I was like, oh, well, it's, it's, it's fucked. Um, when I was troubleshooting and whatnot, trying to get it to work. Um, at one point, I left it for a day and I came back, turned the computer on and just kept on switching off and I was just like, what the actual fuck? Um, it turns out I just needed to remove the CMOS battery, wait for a little bit and then popped it back in. Came all good. Um, so I'm in, I am on carpet, so some people are like, oh, you need an anti-static, fucking blah, 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 but I'm not a fuckwit, I'm not a pussy. Well, I'm a fuckwit probably, but... She'll be right. So essentially, I'm just going to remove this because uh, as you can see or maybe you can't see but I actually unplugged everything um, I've got to plug in one of the drives again because I was thinking maybe it was a power issue um, but yeah unfortunately it wasn't it was just the graphics card um, the graphics card looks pretty you know pretty cool pretty nice uh, I still like it um, so this was a Mac edition um, so it came out from a working um, Mac um, I did try, like, cause yeah, I didn't, didn't have any thermal paste, so I did try to put a bit of toothpaste to see if that would do anything. 
and uh, it did not. So put that there. And because I'm using DVI, um, I probably could use VGA, but you know, I'm using a, a Samsung um, LCD. Anyway, either way, I'm going to be using uh, DVI. So, let's get it on. Alright. Oh, excellent. Okay, that fits pretty snug. I was actually a bit afraid um, the fan grill was going to cause me issues, but luckily, it's all good. Alright, so I think this is the screw that I need. Yeah, let's go. Man, it's, it's, it's uh, cold where I'm up because it's uh, we're going into winter soon. Um, and the metal is just so cold it feels like it's wet. Alright, so a little bit a little bit centered off, but it's all good. There we go, we're done, supposedly. And so <coughs> so yeah, for my next upgrade. Um, I'll be filling out the two slots of RAM, um, just so I've got dual channel. Um, you're probably thinking, ooh, cable management? Yeah, I don't do that shit. I can't be fucked. As long as shit's not in the fans, I don't care. So, which is fucking debatable half the time. Fuck these cables. Anyway, let's flick it on the power supply. So we've got power. Let's hope it works. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, I forgot to plug in that, but that's okay. I'll, just, I'll see if the graphics card works um, to begin with, because um, otherwise, yeah, it's going to suck. Uh, all right. So, it's uh, not looking good. Ugh. Mm. Uh. The joys. Alright, so I've uh, reseated it. I haven't even screwed it in because, like, you know, what's the point at this point? Okay, that's all good. Now, I did have a thought. It should be that the right mode anyway, but I don't know which one it is. Ah, oh, there we go. It's worked. So, I think the problem was, oh, let me just, uh, <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, um, I've obviously changed it, because um, I've taken it out, um, it's having a bit of a cry, um, that's alright. Um, what I'm going to have to do is get some drivers, so, um, I wasn't running the latest drivers, um, and so, like, yeah, I'm not. My, this motherboard really limits to me what I can actually do. Um, so, oh, Jesus, like the, I'm so happy we have got, got a picture. Um, so I think that's the first what happened the first time too when I uh, switched over to this screen. Um, for whatever reason, it stays in stupid analog mode, and you, until you like press a button, and it's like, oh, okay, and then it searches for both. Ah, uh, yes, I don't know why that's done that. I only just recently installed um, a Western Digital Black um, that I had from another PC. Uh, So anyway, I, I tend to crap on a bit. Um, so I got the black, black Western Digital in recently, and so what this does is um, so for whatever reason, it's putting the black as the first one. So essentially I need to make SATA 4, SATA 3, because it's trying to boot off the, uh, yeah, trying to boot off the uh, new, new hard drive. That, that's just essentially just used for the uh, storage. Um, yeah. And so now it should work. As you can see, it's got an analog digital. It's worked its bullshit out, so don't have to press that button ever again. Um, so that's always a good sign. Um, this bit's just an extra bit, because um, at the time, one of the gra original graphics cards that I had, it actually 
um, didn't allow me to have more than one hard drive plugged in just because it was big and bulky. Um, obviously, graphics cards have changed um, since that problem. Um, but at the time being, I just got like a little uh, PCIe um, adapter that you could gives you, I think, another two SATA ports. Um, so then I could use that. Um, but yeah, so this should be pretty disgusting resolution. Excellent. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is essentially uninstall the drivers, um, put some clean ones on there, um, and then um, yeah, give it a bit of a run. Um, I'm obviously going to have to uh, set the time up. It's it's not currently one in the morning. It's uh, currently I don't have my phone, but I know it's not that late. <laughs>